Hello, this is Chris with the USGalaxyS3.com channel. This is a Verizon Galaxy S3. Uh, right now I'm on Synergy ROM version 1.3. It's the latest update that's out. Uh, overall, I've, I mean, I've had it for a week and it's been performing uh, really well. I do like the little Wi-Fi uh, toggle button right there as opposed to the stock uh, configuration. I am having one problem. I'm not sure if it's this ROM or something I installed. Uh, I've never seen this before, but for some reason uh, my audio will stop outputting uh, when it goes to the headphones. Uh, pretty much I, I use my car uh, headphone jack to listen to streaming audio and as soon as I plug it in I cannot hear uh, anything like iHeartRadio or any other music. I can hear the system tones, but uh, just not that. I tried it with a set of Samsung headphones and it does the same thing. So I am going to be trying out another ROM. Like I said, I don't know if it's uh, something I did. I kind of doubt it, but very well uh, could be. What we're going to do in this video is run a few benchmarks. Most of the benchmarks that I've done uh, pretty much were after a fresh restart, fresh boot, and fresh everything. Uh, this time we're not doing that. The phone is in airplane mode. I do have it uh, configured for daily usage. So it does have some stuff installed. First I'm going to run Quadrant Advanced. As you can see the phone is in airplane mode. Again this Synergy ROM. I'll run it one time all the way through and then on the second time I'll skip to the results. In the meantime, on my other channel, uh, the Cricket Wireless one, I am looking at the Huawei Ascend Q, the M660, using it to text while I don't have use of this phone right here. I believe the next ROM I will be installing on this is beans stock. Alright, it says your device 3362, uh, CPU 5367, memory 4702, IO 4148, 2D 725, and 3D 1870. I am going to run that one more time. Alright, second run uh, yields 3496. Uh, CPU 5765, memory 5089, IO 3990, 2D809, 3D1828. I'm pretty sure it would run a little bit faster if we had just about nothing uh, installed, but as you can see, this is all set up for daily use. Next thing we'll run is Linpack for Android, and of course, we're going to run the multi thread because it is a multi thread device or multi core device. The first one usually always yields an inconsistent result. Alright, 129.544 with a time of 1.3 seconds. And 132.08 with a time of 1.28 seconds. Next thing will be Nina Mark. Now I got a 29.6 frames per second score 
Let's go ahead and run it again. So for some reason it seems to be locked to 29 frames per second uh, max. If you look at the history, it said that I've run uh, over 58 frames per second before. It says the best was 58.7 frames per second that might have been on the stock ROM I'm not sure we will do another uh, benchmark of this device with uh, 1.4 when it comes out with nothing uh, installed just off of a fresh boot Let's go to browser mark. Let me change the browser brightness. Of course that does have a separate control with the S30. Go ahead and run that once. Because those scores were so poor, before I install another ROM, I'm actually going to do a wipe and restore just those uh, first three benchmarks. And we'll run those over again, and that is what the second part of this video will show. Synergy ROM 1.3, completely wiped, and just with three benchmarks on it. Alright, the score was 76,760. Uh, when you compare this to all the other uh, S3 devices, probably including the stock ROM on this, I don't quite remember running it on the S3 uh, Verizon Edition on it in its stock configuration. It was all faster than this, so I'm going to wipe it real quick and come back. Alright, since I've saved those 
three benchmarks using titanium backup. I'm just going to use it to restore it. This phone is rooted. That's one of the requirements for using titanium backup. We'll just blast through this. Deselect all of these except for those three. Then pack Nina Mark and Quadrant Advanced. Go ahead and restore those. So this will be our completely stock run of Synergy ROM 1.3. Alright, this time it says our device 4503, CPU 6514, memory 6623, IO 6205, 2D 990, and 3D 2184. Then pack 128.361, time of 1.31 seconds. Second run 128.047 with a time of 1.4 seconds. If you can actually see the speedometer <laughs> or the frame rate gauge over here it's uh, running around 58 to 59 frames per second so back up to a lot higher than what we were getting before and it comes in at 58.6 seconds we will go ahead and run browser mark. If you notice, I'm restarting this test because I didn't have the screen timeout set to 30 minutes, so it put the device in standby. Alright, that yielded a result of 112,339. So, like I said, uh, the next ROM I will be moving on to is called Beans Custom Stock ROM, and it is build 6. Uh, so, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Alright, thanks a lot.